viewers, welcome back to another episode of Unplugged EV Australia. And today we are doing another range test with the old battery. We still are on the old battery, still the 70% health battery. And yesterday we did the 60 kilometer constant hypermarling test and got uh, 40 kilometers out of the battery. And today we do the same test again on the same track with 100 kilometers per hour and see how far we can come. I doubt we will come that far. We went into Cominia yesterday and could reach the road just before the um, school over there when I turned around. This was on 61% state of charge. Actually, the battery is, is on 26, the battery is on 26.9 ampere hours. And considering the engine will kick in at 8.1, 8.1 ampere hours, we have only 18.8 ampere hours to drive. So after 9.4 ampere hours, I should turn around actually. This is exactly half mark of the battery capacity I can use. I'll drive a little bit further because you never know how the BMS decides to kick in the engine at the end of the process. I will have the fan on. It is 29 degrees again, the same as yesterday. We turn on eco mode and start the dog. 98.9. Who would have thought? Okay, so same start capacity as yesterday as far as I can remember. 27 kilometers, again the same. 41 kilometers. Yesterday we had 50. So our battery temperature today is 28 and 29 degrees. We have 29 outside as I said. And the car has finished charging at 7 a.m. this morning and now we've got 3.30. So it had a good rest and that's why the state of charge shows 98.9 as always. It always shows that, always. I don't know why. We are slowly accelerating as yesterday to 80 kilometers. Then I start the cruise control. Uh, actually, because we've got this uphill section here, I will not use the cruise control because it goes nuts with the energy. It desperately tries to hold this 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers per hour and uses heaps of energy then. So I drive manually so I can ease off the gas pedal and save a little bit of energy. Yesterday it wasn't a problem because 60 kilometers it's easy to hold but 100 the car will go nuts with the energy and probably kicks in the eyes before we actually start the whole test. So I'll drive uh, manually here on this uphill section until we get to the 100 kilometer zone and then I kick in the cruise control on 100 kilometers per hour. Yesterday at this point we had 1.2 ampere hours We've now got 1.9 already. Difference from 60 to 80 kilometers per hour uphill. The 100 kilometers per hour. And once I hit 100, there we go. Okay, we are now on cruise control. We got the same strong headwind as yesterday. Okay, we have now driven 10 kilometers. And we are down to 19 kilometers on the dog and 20 kilometers on the gasometer. This is at 71.5% state of charge. Okay guys, I have to stop the car now because we have used, we are at 61% now and we have to turn around. Far, far, far away from Cominia actually. We only could make 14.5 kilometers. Yesterday it was 20 kilometers. Okay, I'm turning around here. Okay, let's have some stats in between here. Wow, that is disappointing. So 61.3% state of charge, but we have driven only not even 15 kilometers. So over seven kilometers less than yesterday. Cominia is another <laughs> that's another another seven six seven eight kilometers another eight kilometers in this direction so we are that's insane that is insane 
and the wind is not strong you can see the grass down there it's not like we've got massive headwind but we will see when we go back now 61 percent that's um 14.7 kilometers slowly accelerating <laughs> we are at 43 percent battery gauge in the dashboard here goes down so quickly on 100 kilometers per hour and this is exactly the 15 kilometers I get out when I drive to work and then I've got another 15 kilometers to go back and just make it but I'm losing 1.4 amp hours while parking so ah well that's just how it is and the energy consumption on the last kilometer was 203 watt hours per kilometer so, as expected, about 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And we have now driven 20 kilometers, 8 kilometers on the dog, 7 kilometers on the GOM in the dashboard, and still 200 watt hours per kilometer. And I know this is around 8, this is around 9.5 kilometers from here to home, and we've got only 7 kilometers left, so we don't make it. I don't I don't think we are reaching the 30 kilometers actually this is with tailwind and we are now reaching 25 kilometers driven three kilometers left two kilometers left we're now at 31.6 percent still driving on 80 kilometers so the engine kicked in at 30.5 percent state of charge we had uh, 3.7 volts in the battery. I don't know what the trigger is to actually turn on the engine. It might be temperature, voltage, state of charge, and in what uh, moon phase we are in at the moment. So who knows. So quick look at the trip card here. Um, we actually have just reached 80,000 kilometers. Okay, we could only make uh, 26. 26.3 kilometers until the engine kicked in so instead of 40 kilometers we could only do 26 on 100 kilometers um, what else we have used 5.6 kilowatt hours for 26 kilometers uh, 21.3 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers and the speed average speed was 71.8 this time Okay guys, so now um, I will archive these videos for when we have the new battery and then we repeat these both tests and at the end I'll show you the end results of both of all four tests in a table and we talk about what has changed with the new battery and how good actually the new battery is in comparison to the 70% state of health battery. And until then you stay charged and we will see us in the next video. Okay guys, this is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia, signing off, bye.